Hi, this is Jeff from Rubedia, and today we're going to talk about the fundamentals of creating a beat in Pro Tools. We've got here a couple different tracks. We've got an instrument track, which has the Boom instrument. This comes with all versions of Pro Tools. It's included in the software. And we've loaded up the drum kit called Urban 2. I'm going to talk about two techniques for creating beats today. MIDI Merge, and the other one is called Loop Record Mode. So we'll first check out MIDI Merge. We've got a two bar loop to start with. And the way we're going to be working is we're going to start with one drum, maybe just the kick drum, then add the snare, then the hi-hat. The way to turn on the MIDI merge function is to simply go to the transport bar, which you'll want to make sure that's up on your screen. And over to the bottom right hand corner, if you don't have these buttons showing up, just hit the little drop down triangle here and you can make more controls show up on the transport bar. It's possible you don't have these showing. The center right button is the MIDI merge button. It looks like two arrows kind of merging into each other. This is for overdubbing in Pro Tools. So we're gonna start with a kick, then add a snare, then add a hi-hat and whatever else we want to, but it's gonna keep looping around and we can keep adding more stuff. So let's start recording our drum beat. Great, so we've got a two bar loop there. We'll go to event, then event operations, and we'll do a quick quantize of this. And there we have a loop, but I didn't have to play all of that at once. I was able to record them one instrument at a time, taking advantage of the MIDI merge function. The other way of recording involves playing everything at once, then looping around the ideas over and over and over again to just have a bunch of different takes. The way we access this feature is we go to the record button and you hit control click on a Mac or start on a PC, or you can just right click if you have a right click on your mouse till you get to the loop record button. And we'll just kind of move another measure or two down and we'll make a two bar loop starting from here. Now notice when loop record is on, the MIDI merge button grays out. You cannot access one or the other. So if you're trying to use MIDI merge, make sure you're not in loop record and vice versa. We'll start with our count in here. So I've just played a bunch of different patterns here. Don't know wh which ones I'll like or not like, uh, but I'll, I can actually go and audition them by simply being in the selector tool. You can't be in the smart tool. You gotta be just selector. Go to the beginning of that clip, hit control, click, and now you can access all those different takes. So as you can see, I have a lot of takes here. So I'll start with beat one. Then I'll simply duplicate that by hitting either Command D for the Mac or Control D for Windows. Then try the next two bar loop idea. Duplicate, use a selector with Control or Command to access the next one. Duplicate. And now you have a whole bunch of different ideas to sort through one after another to decide what you want to keep, want to throw away. These are two really useful techniques for constructing beats in Pro Tools. They involve having very little keyboard skill. You can do it one instrument at a time if you like, or if you're able to play keyboard drums, you can actually speed up the process using Loop Record. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. This is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by.